Okay, part three on the Zenith, the video that nobody asked for. And lots of progress has been made off camera. Well, not lots, just I replaced a resistor. So this is the resistor that I replaced. It was originally a 47K and it was reading uh, about 560K. And then the old focus rectifier. New one of those is in the mail soon. So we have a 47.5K old wire wound resistor that'll never go bad. It still checks right on at 47.5K. Um, testing the CRT, we're gonna get two looks at it this time. Um, we're still using our old kind of Shingo 066 approved focus rectifier. And I've also done some work on the board, cutting out where that carbon tracked. Uh, Dan, Boxy Dan helped me with that a lot. Up and told me what to do. I appreciate that a whole bunch. But right now we're gonna get two two eyes on the uh, on the CRT, which I think is pretty toasted. So as you can see, blue is. Well, I wonder why I did that. I think this tester is having some issues. There we go. Socket on this tester is pretty bad. Okay, so this is just cold turkey power up. It usually takes the CRT about five minutes to come up. And you can see our results right now. Blue is booming strong. Green is dead. Well, not dead, but weak. And I thought it was better than that. can see him kind of jumping around there come on green you weren't that dead the last time I checked you and now they're all falling off there we go so blue is the strongest green is weak and red is dead And here's the B&K. We're going to get its opinion now. Uh, the cutoff control on red has a mind of its own. So, 6.3. Set cutoff. I know that looks good, but that's a false reading. There's nothing there. And here's our results. Blue's booming strong, green is weak, red is bad. So today we're gonna fire this, first of all we're gonna fire this thing up. And uh, because I've had it powered up before with this job and it works pretty good. Um, it needs a full setup. But in fact, I don't know where the convergence assembly is. Is this it here? Does it just use magnets? Because I can't find the thing that... I don't work on this color stuff ever. This is the first Delta Gun color TV I've ever had working. So, red is bad. Green is weak, marginal. And this tester is kind of pick, picky. Let's see, I'll put the rim on it now. See, look, now we're getting similar results. Yeah. And somebody's got the bias all whacked out on this thing, too. They have the bias set to the highest setting. 
and the uh, screen set to the lowest setting, and you want it the other way around, screen to the highest setting, and uh, bias to the lowest. So that's what we got. We'll take it down to 5 volts. Yeah, this thing's pretty pitiful. Focus. No G1. Short. Focus, okay. So, clean and balance. Um, first, we're going to power this thing up with... First, we're going to power this thing up. I got the converter box hooked up to it. And then we're going to rejuvenate red because in my testing, red has been really lackluster. And then we also got the generator. Sick, I'll be fine. You know, let me let me take some bite and get on about my way. Oh boy. Hey. Care about ourselves. Like I always say, people we treat material items better than we do our bots. No? That car no, is cool. Convergence on this thing is really bad. Let's go to Ooh, house is on. Oh, doesn't like that. Cool. No. Let's go to Court TV. It seems where all the good stuff is. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Hold on. and help identify emerging trends in K-pop. Gonna turn the volume off. So, as you can see, Convergence is just perfect on this set, and, oh, we've completely lost it now. Let's go to Court TV. Yeah, nothing gets in this Faraday cage, man. So, oh, here we go. Come on, give us some court TV. Oh, come on. That one out. Uh, we're watching things in the courtroom, and I'm... See how there's, like, non-existent red? See how faint that is? Brightness turned most all the way up. Color Commander is just brightness, but just basically just another brightness control. Which it blooms. You know, the CRT is anything but new. And I think, yeah, 14 is off the air right now. But okay, so let's get the uh, and the CRT is slowly getting better as it warms up. Anyway, let's get the um, generator on it. Four, three, two, and it looks okay. Again, red is just kind of non-existent. Blue is just kind of taking over everything. Mm. 
It's a pretty sensitive tuner, too. Oh, there we go. That's on uh, 0 0.005 dB. And that's on 5 dB. Well, that's 5 dB. That's 0.5 dB. So the tuner is hot. Um, go to cross hatch. As you can see, convergence is anything but good. Dot, dots, color bars, is that chroma bar sweep, grayscale, we'll switch to the other transmitter, hold on, what transmitter, what am I saying here, thing, There's an NTSD. He was a little off. Everything's kind of green tinted too. I think the green screen is up too much. Dude, dot hatch. Yeah, convergence is very poor. Dude. That's supposed to be white. It's green. Blue. Purity doesn't look bad at all. Green. A little dim. But still good overall. Delta gun pattern. And red. And red is... Red is very tired. Phew. That's, that's pretty, pretty poor. Try to adjust for a white screen. I'm gonna take that back. Purity isn't so great. But there's a white screen almost. Looks a bit better. Red is still very lackluster. I think we're gonna do something about that right now. Let's. Yes, yeah, very, very dim, very lackluster. So what we're going to do is we're gonna rejuvenate red. Uh, not right now, but in a later video. But it's good for what it is. Was it worth sixty-five dollars to me? Yes, every penny. Uh, was it worth $65, say, in Los Angeles? No. It's probably worth $25 in Los Angeles. But since this stuff never pops up anywhere, it's definitely worth the $65 and the one-hour trip to go get it. And I can always rejuvenate the CRT, because I have an arsenal of testers that semi-function. And, um... This color stuff just never pops up. But, uh... We'll get some video of the, the back here. Oh, by the way, these two... This is a Bendix. Satchel Carlson. Those two are next on the chopping block. I'm going to start doing some TV videos. And don't forget, we also have an Admiral. So there you go. The money shot. And it's mostly fixed. Um, I'm just gonna, after I get the, the correct focus rectifier in, I'm gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna finish cleaning that board up. And, uh, then it's gonna be the new daily watcher. This is gonna be the new daily. That's probably not so good for the convergence, is it? 
So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, part four on the Zenith Color TV will come once I get parts in. But right now, I'm going to call that pretty much finished. Uh, functional wise, at least. It's not going to get any better. You know, if anything, it'll get worse as the CRT weakens. But. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. I know this video is going to be going out to a whole slew of new subscribers. So there's a lot of other videos. I don't just do TV videos. I do exploration videos and radio record player repair videos and all sorts of other stuff. Some small engine. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.